it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're going to transform this Pringles can into this. So it's going to be a fun Mother's Day um, little Pringles thing that you can add on top of your present or you can give this with a card or something like that. Um, but anyway, mine says grandma on there so of course it can say anything. I just thought it was a fun little, fun little gift. Um, okay, so before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate it. And all right. So let's talk about this little thing here. I, you know, I always love it. Like, um, I feel like my tastes have changed a little bit, but these days I'm in love with these like thin fonts, thin offset. I know it's kind of hard to see there. Um, so this was kind of hard to cut in cardstock. So I tried to cut this white um, outline or this white grandma in cardstock and it got chewed up, pretty much chewed up. Um, on my last try, it was so close, but the G got messed up. So I just scrapped it and went with HTV. So, you know, that's always my favorite. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let's weed the HTV. Here it is. And so it's, you know, the same size, but with HTV, um, the vinyl is a little bit sturdier and, um, you know, it's really stuck to the, to the transfer sheet. So it just, it, it handles the thinness really, really well. So here it is. I'm going to weed it and I'm going to show you that I'm using poly tapes, um, turbo line, which I love because it only takes three to five seconds for it to adhere to just regular clothes. And so with cardstock, because we know we don't have, you know, it doesn't have to go through the wash. You can actually even do it for less if you wanted to. Um, so, okay. So you saw how easily that weeded and then I'm just going to weed out the little parts in here for like, you know, the little bubbles or whatever uh, for the letter, I was going to say B, D, D and G. Um, in this font, for whatever reason, the A, the D, and the A here closed up. It didn't, it didn't close up on the screen, but Cricut, like when it, when I sent it to the machine to cut, it didn't cut. So it's going to be like this. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. We're going to, um, we're going to do, apply this to the gold. So you can see it's thin, like how thin that is. I mean, honestly, this G, other than the fact that it's kind of long, it can fit on my nail. That's how small that thing is. I mean, look at the little, the A, so cute. All right, so we're going to put this down. Um, now, normally, if a lot of my cardstock is showing, and in this case it's not because my carrier sheet um, totally covers the gold, then I'm okay. If my gold was showing for gold, I would cover it up with a Teflon sheet. Okay, so I'm going to apply some heat. I have it on the two, um, but you know, you can go down to one if you wanted to, if you're worried about your paper and you're trying it for the first time. But I, I love doing this because look at that. It's on there. It's just, I, it's so cute too. So it's really, really delicate. Look at that. Like I said, I cut it three times on cardstock and I just could not get it done. And I'll show you my cardstock. I mean, it cut this in glitter cardstock and this glitter is 300 GSM. So it's thick and look how thin that is. It's able to do that. This was just too delicate. All right. So we've got that. Let's put it down on um, our offset is purple another one. So on this one, I'm just going to put glue. Now this, um, this glitter that I said was 300 GSM, it's ground up creations. It's my favorite glitter cardstock. I use it whenever I can. When the colors work, I use it. Um, and the reason why I like it is it's thick and it cuts well and it photos really well. Like I'm gonna show you right now. I mean, I know the lights are all on so it's kind of hard to see, but um, if you go to the uselesscrafter.com, you can always see my posts. Like, so the on the website, you will always see by project. So you get all the pictures from all the different social media channels. You might get a reel, um, you get links to all the materials and the tutorials. So that's a good place to go to, to get more pictures, depending on where you follow me. Um, but look at that. It's, 
it just photos really well. The green is also from Ground Up Creations. Okay, so we've got that. Um, the other thing is, <laughs> I emptied this because my daughter eats all of these because, you know, I'm just making it for the pictures and for you guys. Um, you can buy my Pringles SVG file on Etsy or on my website. And what it does is it breaks down the circle, the measurements for the circle, for the two tabs, and also for this middle piece. Everything else you need to add to the design. That just covers your Pringles can. And then you, you know, I'll show you how to, you know, pull hearts and cut hearts out and, and stuff like that. Um, now also with, while I'm talking, um, oh man. I think I'm I'm in need of a new glue gun. This one is is temperamental these days. Um, all right, while I'm waiting for this to to heat up, um, the SVG file, you can always make adjustments to it. Do not make adjustments to the circle. The circle covers this this lid just perfectly. It's a little bit outside so that you can add things to it, and then um, uh, you can also add the dome on top okay so this fits the dome perfectly so don't don't make adjustments to this but you can always make adjustments to this this and this it just depends on how you want to use it on the can okay and what i mean by that is if you want this to be less so that it doesn't go all the way to the end where it just goes to this notch then you can you can change that and make it a little bit smaller i would keep the length or you can make the length longer so that it overlaps. Same thing with these two pieces. Now I cut these, for I forgot to change my measurements. So this went all the way to the end, so you know what happens, right? So this piece is gonna be just a little bit short because it's sitting on top of this, um, and every little bit counts. So um, that's the nice thing about the SVG file is that it is an SVG file and not a PDF, for instance, so you can make those changes. So it's just a nice starter to have all of these and it's for the 1.4 ounce can okay so it's the mini mini so you can see how big it is all right um i'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up in the meantime let's do this pretty piece right here so this is the topper and i just love it i know it's um let me see if i can put it on here so it doesn't catch the glare as much all right so this guy has the gold outline and look how thin this gold is i absolutely love this gold paper it's so delicate it's got like little crosses like um there's just a lot of detail to this piece okay so i'm going to put this on so on this what i did is you know i used my burly art glue because it's nice and thin and i let that bubble up so let me all right <laughs> i just wiped it on my skirt um, and I wonder why my daughter wipes everything on her clothes. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to put this on here. It's really thin. So on the thin pieces, sometimes what I like to do is on a scrap piece of paper like this, I like to put a lot of glue on here and sort of just you know dabble it so it gets enough on the piece of paper and put this down so that's gonna dry and then this has an offset right here on this white so on the white though because there's enough room I'm going to put the foam um, foam squares to give it a little bit of some depth to this piece so it won't be so flat. So let's do that. And I always worry about these foam tape pieces not sticking down so well so I will add a little bit of glue to it um, and in case you're wondering the font is the Marie font from Creative Fabrica and 
I, I love it. It's so cute. It's just, um, it's really thin. I don't know. It's my favorite font these days. There, that you can see. <laughs> All right, let me put that down. On this piece, let me see my glue gun. Okay, my glue gun's hot enough. I'm just going to add a little bit all over the place. So cute, right? All right, and then we're gonna put grandma on top. And this is actually thick enough to take some of the foam tape as well. So it's just gonna sit on top of that. So let's put that down. Oops. This piece, the word grandma, is actually longer than this. So I'm only gonna put the foam tape in the middle. And so you end up having this little piece it's so pretty and you see it's not so thin it's not so flat all right so let's work on our Pringles can um, now that my glue gun is hot enough let's put glue on this piece this is on our lid All right, and then on this piece, I'm putting this kind of paper. Now, um, this paper is not that thin because you can hear it. So um, the thicker papers are gonna, you're gonna want to give yourself a little bit more room on the length. It's just, it's so funny. It's like every little bit fall, falls into that calculation. So the thicker paper is gonna require a little bit more. It just goes around a little bit thicker. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Um, all right, so I'm going to put down a little bit of glue here. And don't worry if it, you know, if you see a little bit of green right here, because that's what the these little bands are for. They're gonna cover up all our mistakes. So we're gonna hold that down. It's gonna sit like this, perfect. Okay. All right, so let's do our, um, our top one. So the top one, the way I do this is, you see that lid right there? I want this to match the end of the lid so that when I'm opening up the lid, I'm not touching, I'm not pushing on just this piece. The, I'm pushing on this and the lid at the same time so that this won't fall off. It won't be so delicate. So what, and you know, this, this moves. So don't worry about like this being the back because this is the back seam, right? We can start right here and then we'll just move this around. Okay. So this one's, this piece isn't as important. So I would just put a little bit of glue on the, on the lid just to start this piece. Okay. So line it up so that you're at the edge of the lid. So that when my thumb goes to open this later, I'm touching both the glitter cardstock and the lid. They're equal so that I'm not pushing the glitter cardstock off, okay? All right, so that's down. And then I'm just gonna go all the way around a little bit at a time so that my glue doesn't dry on me. And so it's gonna come up a little bit right there, which is okay because when we put our middle piece um, on, <clears throat> it just kind of covers everything. I don't know. I like it just knowing that if a kid opens this aggressively, my glitter, my glitter tab's not gonna fall off. So um, 
That's why I like it. Pull that down. Let's do this side. And there's going to be overlap here, which I like because then I can make sure that my glue is on paper to paper. And I just feel like it's going to seal it really well. And then I'm going to wipe this excess off right here. Okay, perfect. So this is what it looks like so far. I know I've got a lot of glue strings. I wouldn't worry about that. That I'm going to clean up afterwards. Okay, so this moves, right? Um, I'm going to line this up with this one. And then now this is my back seam, right? The seams all line up. So I'm going to turn this around and start over here. Put a little bit of glue down just to get it started. Now I already know this short band. Well, this band is going to be short a little bit. So now that it's on, I'm just going to run this along here. So that side's down. I'm going to do this side. So it's a little short because it went over. Okay. We've got that down. And the rest is really like on this one. I'm going to show you how I did, I did this. So... From the back, you can kind of see, I, I basically sandwiched this piece between two foam tape, uh, two foam tape squares. And then I added a lot of glue to make it stand. And then I hid the glue on the top with this extra heart in the front. So you can see it's like this, and then we'll, we'll put a little heart right there. So what I would do right now is let's build our little foam squares. I'm just gonna put <clears throat> really close to each other like that, okay? And then I'm gonna put this down. I want this to be, oops. It's gonna be about like that. So I'm gonna hold on to this, okay? I'm basically gonna put my glue down. And it's gonna take a little bit for it to dry standing like this. So we're gonna to have to talk a little bit <laughs> while this is drying. So I'm just gonna hold it like this. It's gonna take a little bit. Um, you can prop it up with something, just make sure that it doesn't get in the glue. Um, let me see what, I, what tools do I have that's nearby. I want this to dry. And it's starting to dry. Let me put a little bit right here. Um, and then you can put like this heart right here. So I'm going to flip this down. Um, let me put something right there. What's oh, high enough? I need more. Okay. So you see how that's propped up? Let me move this up a little bit. So you can see what I'm working with. Okay. So in the meantime, I'm going to take this and glue this right here, and I'm going to put that down. Put 
kind of hide everything. So hard for me to see that way. All right, well that piece dried. Our main center piece dried. This piece didn't, hold on. So cute, right? Okay, so now that we have this piece, and just to make sure, oh, I'm just gonna give it support right now. And it keeps it still. In the middle right here, um, I just have a bunch of hearts cut out, leftover hearts from things. Like this was one of these center, you know, to get that, um, that outline. And so I'm just saving it and I'm gonna put it here. So these in the middle, I, I used originally, let me flip this down so you can kind of see. I did my gold as the center pieces and everything else kind of sat on top, like the, the little purple um, outlines, which I think is so cute. So you can do this. You know, I originally did this color scheme for Tiana. So a bunch of Tiana Pringles. Um, it's just so versatile, you can do anything. All right, let me put this down. And I didn't put this glue away, so let me close that up. All right. Um, and you can just build, you can add, you know, we could have put this piece down here. It's totally up to you. Um, I just think it's so pretty and it's a lot of fun to do this. Um, all right, let's see. Let's build our all of our gold pieces. So this one. And I like, because it's a round can, I like having it on the foam squares because then it's not sitting flat and then it's not trying to like bend to the, to the can. So it's kind of popping up right here, which I like. And that's all that there is to it. So fun and cute, right? That was really quick to transform this Pringles can. And I feel like a few of these would look so good on the party like decor table. And of course, people love to get them. All right, so this little pretty thing, I might just because it's so thin, I'm gonna see if I can, just get a little bit on there. So pretty, so pretty. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have. We have a bunch of these. And then we have the green ones. You can make these pop by doing like double foam tape so that it sticks out really on top. So let's do that on this one. Um, I've cut that down, oops. I'm gonna take off the sticky. And then just put two more on top of it and that way it will stand taller than that original piece right there. Oh, I need more glue. Give me one second. Add another glue 
paste again. Okay. That's it. You can keep adding, keep going, change it out. It's just so stinking cute. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know in comments, you know, or in the comment section if you have any questions, any special requests, any of that. I will see you guys next time. Bye.